Hey guys, Dean Mike here for another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays. This one's going up on Christmas, so Merry Christmas to all of you who celebrate and Happy Holidays to those of you who celebrate something different. We are in the later stages of Hanukkah, and I believe Kwanzaa is just around the corner, if not starting today. So yeah, Happy Holidays everybody, hopefully you're doing well. If you are doing well and you love holidays, toss a like on this video, comment if you want, and uh, yeah, subscribe. So, we just finished the Dark Palace, and we are wasting arrows accidentally. We're going to be doing quite a bit of overworld exploration today. Gonna be grabbing some hurt pieces, maybe playing a few mini games. But first, we need to get the heck out of here. This is the fun part of the game where you get to retrace your steps and go back through the maze that they put you in. How about that? Don't we love it? I don't know if this is the right way to go. Once again, when I record these episodes, they are recorded exactly when they, uh, around the time that they're gonna go up. So, it is certainly quite the gap in between. And I have basically no muscle memory at all when I play these games. So, there we go. But, compliments of the Dark Palace that we just finished. We have our new Fancy Pants Magic Hammer that we're going to be using today. In just a moment. We have full monies, because we are amazing. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, looks like we're going to have our first opportunity to, to use said hammer. We're going to get hammered here in just a moment. There you go. So these are magic pegs that only can be destroyed by a similar hammer. Also, I love this sound. I'm going to be quiet for a second so you can enjoy this. Oh, yeah. Crank that up when you get a chance. Oh. 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 Okay. So let's see what this sign has to say. This way to the bomb shop. Not yet. Instead, let's... uh. Let's fend off these guys first. I want to say that this area is supposed to be Lake Hylia, but I could be wrong. This is kind of what it looks like. This is similar in fashion to... Whoa! Excuse you, you gotta ask for that. What is this? Another shop? Have we been in here before? I don't know. Who knows? Okay. Well, anyway, we're gonna get in the water, get a little wet. Oop! There we go. Yes. And usually in these circumstances, when you're in some place that looks kind of suspicious, and you're in the middle of something, using your magic mirror, if I hit the right button, is typically good. Here it is. Look at this. Can we kill these guys with our... Well, the heart container's in the way. Or the piece of heart, I should say. And we're back. Okay. I think that we are actually in the area of... Um, the, what is that thing called? The, uh, the Pond of Happiness? I think we're in, no. <laughs> Hold on a second. Game, I'm gonna need you to quit. Don't you do it? Okay, good. All right, so I don't remember, where is the Pond of Happiness? I don't know where anything is. I barely know where I am at. I know this is Lake Hylia, so it's got to be around here somewhere. We've still got plenty of grumpy Zoras coming after us. We don't want to deal with that. Is this it? Maybe this is it. Yes. Looks right. So we can upgrade our bombs and arrows if we remember. Let's go ahead and just throw the maximum amount. We have a ton. Okay. I don't remember how far away we need to go to trigger this. That looks like that's good. I believe the minimum is a hundo each time you do this to get this gold digging fairy to come out. Let's go ahead and carry more bombs. Very good. We should be picking up a pretty fair amount of roops today in this episode. So it's 
advantageous to just go ahead and max out all your stuff if you can. I don't know why, and it's not the same thing, but there's a song in Pokemon Snap that you're in the cave where you can catch um, or take photos of, I guess you're not catching anything, um, of Articuno and like Jinx and a floating Jigglypuff. And for some reason, it makes me think of uh, that song, the Fairy Fountain song in that one, to me are somewhat synonymous. Okay. This seems like a scam though, where it's like, you're only gonna have good luck unless you give me maximum dollar ruse. First two numbers of rupees are pretty nice though. All right, so let's max out bombs. I don't know. 30 bombs is quite a bit, which is actually good considering how often I blow it and uh, I don't ever wind up doing things correctly. So having big trouble, huh? That's way less fun than good slash great luck. Okay. I want to get more arrows, though. Arrows are, I think 30 might be the most you can have. 40 arrows is a lot. I think I'll just do this one more time. I mean, you could probably, I don't know what the maximum is, if it's like 99 for both. I don't think so, but we will just do this one more time so that way I don't continue to waste the moments of this video, but having a full stock of ammunitions is always gonna be good, of course. Don't forget. And more arrows, 45, okay, so it's just five at a time. You know what, I can live with 30 and 45. That's perfectly fine. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. So, oops, let's go ahead and pull the Pull the arrows back, I don't really need that. All right. So, we're doing good. Let's go ahead and head back onto the land in this swampy area. Now that we have all these beautiful arrows. And we have the Master Sword. We are pretty much unstoppable. Look at this. But we do have a ton of We do have a ton of, um, of monies, and uh, everything is going great. I was definitely not paying attention to that. That guy kind of snuck up on me there. Okay. Let's see if we can find any other places that are only passable via hammers. I know that there is a very specific place in Kakariko Village that you can't get to without the hammer, but we'll come back to that. I'm actually looking for things that are a little bit more kind of our speed, excuse you, more of our speed right now. Okay. So hopefully everybody is doing well. Hopefully you're having a good holiday season. Boop, boop, be doop. I'm kind of hot and cold about uh, the holiday season. You know, I think it's always fun to spend time with your family, but man, there's just a lot that goes into it, right? So much planning and execution and monies and all this stuff that you gotta be mindful of. All right, is there anything in this area that is of use to us? Maybe, hold on. There we go, hey. Would you look at that? More time to get hammered? That's what you do during the holiday season. I love that it's called the magic hammer, but it doesn't use any, um, it doesn't use any of the magics, which I think is interesting. But this, my friends, is a portal back to the dark world. And keep your hammer out. Boop. Okay. So we're in the swamp area of the dark world, obviously. And looks like we've got a place to use one of our new 30 bombs. Heck yeah. See what this opens up. Caves are just the buttholes of the ooh of the world. What is this? Hello, my friend. And there you go. So once again, 
Hopefully you spent at least 300 rupees to take advantage of this very wealthy kangaroo. Actually, wait a second. Hold on a second. I, I'm on to you. I saw this at the last second, right, when I was... I like that animated him from the side, too. More treasure. I almost forgot. But yes, here you go. This looks like... 80 more rupees? So you get 380 rupees just from that cave alone, which is pretty cool. Thanks, guy. I don't know if he intended for us to... take his extra goodies, but that's too bad. Let's get the heck out of here. These kind of look like Christmas presents, don't they? Like, if Christmas presents were actually like, um, what am I trying to say? Christmas presents were uh, like bags of garbage. I mean, one man's trash is another man's treasure. So, all right, let's continue onward. We're doing great. If you ever see anything suspicious though, when you play these games, it probably is. That's just kind of a rule of thumb. We're just going to keep exploring and hopefully we'll find some neat stuff. What do these guys have in their hands exactly? What are they holding? Those sort of weird weapons. Ooh, this looks suspicious. Hmm. Let's go ahead and put this crazed cow man. He has mad cow disease. Anybody remember mad cow disease? What a simpler time it was when we all just had a little bit of mad cow disease. Okay. So now that we've got this, let's go ahead and get the mirror out. Usually this is kind of the, um, it's kind of the rule of thumb. If you see anything weird, the magic mirror is probably the result of it. There you go. There's another heart piece. Yeah, mad cow. That was the, uh, kind of the big thing affecting cows, surprisingly. And if you remember what that was, it was basically some farmers trying to cut costs. And their way of cutting costs was um, instead of, you know, feeding their cattle grain or corn or oats or whatever cows eat. I don't know. I'm not a farmer. Um, the, uh, the problem that was there was they were feeding them cows, like pieces of cows. So... Um, in doing so, that's obviously not good. You don't want to feed your cows cows because it messed. It would cause some sort of um. It would it would cause some sort of like uh, brain disease where they would you know essentially go mad. And then if you feed that to humans, it would cause some sort of weird parasite. Not not ideal. So yeah, don't feed cows to your cows, viewers. Don't do it. Okay, here's another weird uh forest creature looks like an armadillo of sorts let's talk to him okay looks like another person that's been transformed they don't have a magic mirror or a moon pearl so sucks to be you enjoy playing the flute in the original world he just wishes he could he buried his flute he just wishes that he could play the skin flute again totally understand and we get a shovel okay so it appears that we need to go and help this guy find his magical instrument. So now that we're already in the forest, let's go ahead and move away a little bit. There's Mr. Flute Boy. So it appears that maybe we can find his flute too. So that way they can have a little uh, huzzah. What is this? There's an ostrich, some crazy bird, rabbits, rabbits. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Well, we need to find our own flute. So let's go ahead and start digging away, digging away. I would sing a song from the movie Holes, but I don't know any, so sorry about that. I do remember seeing it. Okay. Are we gonna be able to, there we go, look at that. Don't you love uh, ground flutes? Amazing. Okay. So this is actually going to be our fast travel device of this game. That's exciting, right? Let's go ahead and talk to this weird forest armadillo one last time. The village you lived in. Oh. 
a tired old man. Let's go ahead and give him one last concert just to put him at ease. No. Yes. Okay. You're welcome. Is it the same one who was playing it in the forest already and is just to have as a doppelganger? Oh no, he turned into Groot. That's so sad. Kind of looks like a, a turd with leaves on it. Interesting. Anyway, well, what we need to do while we're in the area of the forest is we need to actually return to the light world. And he did mention that there's a certain village where this flute could be of value. Can you guess which village it is, game? Viewers? I don't know why I said game. Can you guess which village it is in the game, viewers? There we go. Don't worry, I'll help you out. If you guessed Kakariko Village, you're right. Is it Kakariko? How do you say it, viewers? Do you say Kakariko? Do you say Kakariko? Like a weirdo? I feel like we're not going the right way, as per usual. I got a little bit ahead of myself. I don't know where I'm going. But don't worry, we'll get there eventually. Okay. Go ahead and dispatch these shoulders. <laughs> shoulders. It's a, it's, it's uh it's been a day, viewers. Don't worry. We're not losing our mind yet. Let's actually go ahead and use the map. No, no, yes. Okay, so we were sort of going the right way. So we just needed to head up instead of west to the dead end. All right, great. That's fine, viewers. Sometimes you just got to explore a little bit, even if you're wrong. So there we go. We need to head up from here. Yes, up the cliff. Past the trident-wielding goobers. Who just carries a trident? Who do you think this is? The guy from Anchorman? All right. So if we remember... So there's a tired old man that we could give this flute to. I don't know. There was the one dude up here. Is the person in this house the mayor, maybe? Do they have any words of advice for us? Is this a tired old man or is this a woman? Okay. Well, they said we look marvelous, though, so we'll always take the compliment. I have no idea. Okay. Well, it seems like... In my previous experiences, as somebody who has played Link's Awakening, it seems like playing a magical tune in front of a weather vane seems to have good effects to it, so let's go ahead and maybe try that. Hopefully this is good. The old weather cock in front of us. Okay. Sometime today, Link. Would you look at that? We have spawned a duck. We ruined their weather vane, but we have gathered ourselves a new companion. Check this out. I like that they actually played the song pretty quickly. So now that we have that, we can fast travel to all these kinds of locations, which is great. We actually don't really have any intentions of doing that yet. But yes, that's your fast travel mechanism. Oh, nope, stop. Nope. What have I done? Nope, stop. <laughs> oh, viewers. This is not what I wanted. Let's try that again. I'm going to go ahead and switch off of that because I don't want to deal with it anymore. Sorry, Mr. Bird. Is that a duck? I feel like ducks can't fly like that. Maybe they can. Okay, so if you remember, as I was alluding to, there was this spot in Kakariko Village which has a bomb. That's not what I was actually looking for. Um, hold on a second. I want to say that there is more to do with... Oops, sorry. Sorry. We can enter this cave now. There we go. All right. This should give us some goodies. My goodies, my goodies. Okay. So now we are in this cave. The Cave of Wonders. Let's, uh... Let's go north first, see what happens. Ooh. 
Somebody left their SpaghettiOs in here. Well, maybe we can give it a little bit of uh, a little seasoning. If anybody remembers, this is another thing that was brought back in Link's Awakening. Thanks a lot, sir. Oh, I thought he called me Eric. Get ready for it, Eric. So he's cursing us now. How dare you? What a jerk. Threw his cheddar cheese all over us. So what he thinks is a curse is actually very good for us. So now our magic attacks will only take half magics. How about that? You essentially double your magic bar. That's all that that does. Pretty sweet though. So now we can continue on using our magic hammer, doing more neat stuff. There's a whole lot of overworld stuff that you can do between um, Dungeon 1 and 2 in the Dark Palace. So just bear with me. Hopefully you appreciate this. This stuff is going to make your experience so much easier. Trust me. Actually, I want to... I would like to leave Kakariko Village. Obviously, that block is something we cannot handle yet. But, we actually want to go into the uh, the Lost Woods area. That's where we're headed next. I think that's in somewhere around here. Please. This looks pretty Lost Woodsy. But in general, yeah, they... Uh, Oh, you're trying to steal my goodies. Why, why is this way? Ooh, I didn't know about this. Open one chest. Yeah, let's do it. Escape. What's in here? That's not a good return on investment. Can we do this again? Nope. I do like the uh, minigame sound, though. Very good. Let's try one more time. Okay. How about this one? Worth it. Yes, now we maxed out our rupees. Full disclosure, I did not expect that to happen at all, so. Okay. I feel like this is not... This does not look like where, <laughs> where I want to go. Maybe it is. Hold on. Oh, there's the bee again. The bee's knees, what is this? House of Lumber... Bump, Blumpkin? It's a weird name. What do you guys do? Nothing, apparently. Not even home. Who just leaves their front door unlocked like that? You deserve to get robbed. Oh, no. Bush villains. What's in here? I'm just kind of, um... Kind of spitballing right now. Ooh. I would like to have that. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to get that later, because I don't know how to get that right meow, so. Hopefully I can figure out where I'm trying to go here. I'm not finding it. Ow, stop, quit. There we go. Why are these birds so angry? They don't want to work for the government anymore, that's their problem. Hmm. This feels like the right way to go, but I don't think so. Game, why are you gotta be so tricky? I will find it. We're trying to get the portal back to the old dark world. Oops. Stop it. Quit. Quit it. I don't want to deal with you and your shenanigans. Okay. I'm gonna keep exploring here as I stumble around. There's supposed to be a secondary exit that you can find to the Lost Woods that uh, spits you out somewhere else. Obviously, I have not found that yet. But once I do, viewers, oh, you just wait. It's going to be amazing. I don't think this is anything. This looks like just set design. Yes. I am a little lost, but we're doing good. I don't know. 
There's no real way nowhere else we can go here. I'm trying to use the old muscle memories and it is not, it is not working out for me, unfortunately, but we'll get there. You don't have to just trust me. We'll find it. This alternative exit is worth it. It's a good way to progress and continue along in the game. Why are there so many gosh dang soldiers in here? Maybe that's why they're angry. It's because they're lost too. No, this is Master Sword. We don't want that. We already have it. Is he in here with me? <laughs> Just two dudes hanging out on a log, you know, as you do, right? There's another one in there too. What are you guys doing? Get a life. Is this another one? Yeah, there we go. Here it is. This is what I was trying to get to. I knew we'd find it, viewers. You just had to trust me. There's the portal. Okay. Is that the uh, oh, the Dark World cookout? Oh, there's ghosts in here too? We um are past the time for spooky season, so... Maybe we can go and visit the Kakariko village of this area. How about that? Looks like we've already made it. It's kind of spooky. The village of outcasts. People without rupees are not. You guys are a bunch of gold diggers. Oh my goodness. Okay, well. Maybe we can do a little bit of gambling and then we can wrap up this episode. How about that? We want, uh. We'll finish up with this mini game, this greedy armadillo here. 30 rupees. And, uh. Two chests we can open. Hopefully we can find the piece of heart. That is a heart. And an arrow. Wow. Horrible. Well. Let's try again. If I can't nail it on my third try, I will just show you that I've done it. There's a, That's a good prize. Okay, so that's try number two. And then I'm just going to cut away after this one if I can't find it, because that would be boring. So here we go. Oops. I have to pay the piper. Here we go. Okay. We're actually doing pretty well with our return on investment here. Okay. Well, viewers, I'll see you back when I find it. And there you have it, viewers. It only took me three additional tries, and I won another 100 rupees in the process for... A nice amount of rupees. Very good. And um, I'm actually going to show you one last thing before I let you go. To spend time with your families for the holiday season. All right. So if you remember, this area is very similar to uh, the Kakariko village of our part of the world. It has this shed. This is where I go when I don't want to speak to my non-existent wife. All right, here we go. So go ahead and blow this open and see what we can get. I'm just going to tell you that this is what this is. This is actually 300 rupees. I don't need that. I just remember this, so I'm not going to do that, obviously. But if you wanted 300 rupees, you could go ahead and go into your shed and find it. And that's exactly what we've done. Interestingly, um, It's like a very muted version of the overworld theme, that's okay. But anyway, there's actually two spaces in this village where you can find 300 rupees for 600 totals, which is really nice, so if you need that, go ahead. But anyway, that's all the time we've got for today. I've been D-Mike, this has been A Link to the Past. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever holidays you celebrate during the winter time. This has been Super Nintendo Sundays with A Link to the Past, and I'll see you next time for something new. Bye.